everybody in my video today I'm going to talk to you about the five top best neighborhoods in Cottonwood Arizona so if you've ever thought about moving to Northern Arizona Verde Valley and specifically Cottonwood you're going to want to pay attention to the very end of this video because I'm going to go over the top five best neighborhoods in Cottonwood <laughs> living in northern Arizona where I'll teach you everything there is to know about living in the beautiful northern half of the state of Arizona. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate in northern Arizona which would include Sedona, Verde Valley, Prescott area and Flagstaff. So if you ever have a question about real estate in northern Arizona go to the description below and find my contact information and you can give me a call, text, email or schedule a zoom call and we can talk about real estate buying and selling houses in northern Arizona. So before I begin, I want to tell you where I got the information to make this video. Um, basically, I get a lot of the information on a website called bestplaces.net or niche.com where it gives you crime data, temperature data, and some statistics on the towns. But a lot of this video is going to come from my own experiences buying and selling homes, watching which neighborhoods get a lot of activity, and mostly by the reactions I get from my clients when I'm showing them homes in Cottonwood, which ones they really like the best which areas I like the best and of course a lot of it's going to be my own personal opinion so that's how I came up with this list and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information on Cottonwood before I get into the neighborhoods. Cottonwood is in the northern part of the state if you're taking Interstate 17 North from Guy Harbor Airport for instance in Phoenix you are going to go right past Mingus Mountain Range and you're going to take the State Route 260 exit and go west and that's how you get to Cottonwood. So the elevation in Cottonwood is about 3,300 feet above sea level so that gives it a nice temperate climate where it does get warm in the summertime but usually it's in the low 100s and in the winter time the average low is probably uh, 28 to 35 degrees so it's not bitter cold but uh, not too hot in the summertime either so nice temperature. The population of Cottonwood is just over 12,000 residents. The cost of living is actually quite favorable. It's 103, the cost of living index. Now the cost of living index, I do use that a lot. There's a company that puts out, uh, based on data across the United States, uh, they put out a cost of living index for each one of the towns and 100 is the national average. So Cottonwood is just slightly 3% higher than the national average to live. Uh, so it makes it a nice affordable town in Arizona if you're thinking of moving here. The average rainfall in Cottonwood is about 14 inches per year snow about one inch per year so something to know about Cottonwood is there is a hospital in Cottonwood and probably uh, the bulk of the doctors offices and medical facilities of Verde Valley are in Cottonwood now if you're in the Verde Valley area or Sedona and you have a very serious injury I might recommend going to the hospital in Flagstaff over the one in Cottonwood but there is a big hospital in Cottonwood and other doctors offices as well Okay, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of information on my favorite neighborhoods and I'm going to start with Cottonwood Ranch. Now Cottonwood Ranch is actually, if you're going through Cottonwood and you get to this little Y intersection and you take the 89A towards Clarkdale or Jerome, it's over in that area. Cottonwood Ranch, right now there are only nine active homes for sale in Cottonwood Ranch and they were built between 1998 and two, the early 2000s. So you're going to have late 90s build early 2000 build dates for a lot of the homes in Cottonwood Ranch right now the sales price I'm seeing is uh, lowest price four hundred and ten thousand dollars and the highest price about five hundred seventy five thousand dollars now keep in mind this is spring 2023 and I'm basing it on uh, data that closed in February and the data that is active right now in March so early 19 early <laughs> 2023 that's the numbers that we're seeing in homes now homes for sale right now ranging from 1200 square foot for the smallest ones that are for sale up to about 2300 square foot so average American sized homes they is close to the Cottonwood Airport so you might get some noise from the airport um, but it's a very nice part of town and the price per square foot on a lot of these homes starts at 221 and goes all the way to 320 
uh, dollars per square foot if you want to use that for an indicator and that usually is a pretty good indicator on how expensive a home is. Now the next neighborhood I want to talk about is Mesquite Hills. Mesquite Hills is actually right, right next to Cottonwood Ranch. So right now in Mesquite Hills there are only seven homes for sale but uh, Miramonte Homes, which is a reputable builder in Northern Arizona, they are building right now a development in Mesquite Hills. So a lot of the homes I'm talking about are these seven are under construction now for Miramonte Homes. And a lot of the homes in Mesquite Hills are nice because through the backyard you might be able to see the red rocks of Sedona. So right now the seven homes for sale they're ranging from about 1300 square foot to 1800 square foot so the average to smaller size ranging from four hundred three thousand dollars to seven hundred sixty four thousand dollars now again remember this is spring 2023 prices the price per square foot i'm seeing is about 298 dollars a square foot all the way up to 428 dollars a square foot that is on one of the brand new builds right now and a lot of the homes are built uh, just recently in last five six years uh the earliest ones i'm seeing are like 2017 bills all the way to the brand new ones that they're working on right now so next i want to talk about pine shadows now pine shadows is a retirement community it's a 55 plus community it's actually a mobile home park so it is manufactured homes where you don't own the land so of course that can be a disadvantage because you don't own the land and so now you buy the manufactured home but it's sitting on a lot with the land lease fee and the landless fee the land lease fee in Pine Shadows can be anywhere from low 600 to about 750 a month. So you're always paying that land lease fee. But along with that fee, you do get some amenities. You get the, uh, it's very close to the golf course. There is a community center. There is a clubhouse. There's pickleball. There's tennis courts. There's lots of activities. And of course, it's a 55 plus community. So you have a lot of people your own age that you'll be living with. And you might have a lot more in common with people. It is one of the nicer retirement parks in Verde Valley. I do get a lot of interest in Pine Shadow. So that's why I wanted to bring that up today. Uh, right now, there are only 10 homes for sale and they were built between 1993 and 2002, uh, ranging from $75,000 all the way to the most expensive one I've seen is $325,000. Now, again, I think we mentioned a lot lease fee on in Pine Shadows. It's going to be from, I don't know, $625, $650, all the way to like $750-ish. I do see different prices. I don't know if that's the size of the lot or the size of the home on the lot, but I do see a little variation, so I can't quote you an actual lot lease fee. But it is a very nice community. The people I've taken in there really like the place, and it is uh, the only retirement community in my list of nice neighborhoods today. Okay, number four on my list is Mingus Foothill South. Now this might be my actual favorite community in Cottonwood and it's the area between State Route 260 and Mingus Mountain. So you're kind of going towards the foothills of Mingus Mountain and because of that you might be a little bit more elevated. You might have excellent views of all of Verde Valley and even the Red Rocks of Sedona. So the thing about the homes in there, you're going to have a lot of custom homes in there and you're going to have a lot of homes on acreage. Right now I'm only seeing six homes for sale. Uh, they are starting at $795,000 and going all the way up to almost $1.2 million. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't more expensive homes or less expensive homes in uh, Mingus Foothill South, but that's what I see on the market today in March of 2023. A lot of them are built early 2000s, late 1990s, all the way to like 2019. And even right now, a lot of people, you could buy a lot in the area and build a custom home. So you could have new construction going on there as well. Lot sizes from what is for sale currently, and it's about one and a half acres all the way to six acres. So again, you have lots on acreage, very nice. They're custom homes and the prices I'm seeing, the least expensive home in there is about $269 a square foot, going all the way up to about $463 a square foot. So again, custom homes, lots on acreage, beautiful views because you're on the base of Mingus Flat Mountain, one of my favorite cottonwood neighborhoods. Okay, and finally, number five, my number fifth choice of favorite Cottonwood neighborhoods is going to be Verde Villages 6. So Verde Villages, there's actually eight areas of Verde Villages. 
to me, Verde Villages 6 is my favorite of all the Verde Villages. Now, the big draw to the Verde Villages is that there's no HOA. And I get a lot of people that call and like, I want a house with no HOA. And I'm like, that's fine, but there are going to be a lot of houses with no HOA that are in neighborhoods where your neighbor might not take the best care of his home, where you might see houses that have six cars parked on the lawn. You might have a motorhome blocking your view. You might have weeds growing up. I do see some of that in some of the other Verde Villages. Now, I'm not saying you won't find that in Verde Villages 6, but to me, Verde Villages 6 seems to be my favorite one um, of the eight. It seems like the houses are uh, a little bit better taken care of in that neighborhood. Of course, that's opinion, and uh, you might want to drive through all of the Verde Villages, but Verde Villages 6 is uh, my favorite. I've sold a couple homes in there. Um, they usually are pretty nice and a uh, decent price tag. Uh, right now, there's only seven homes for sale. They are ranging from $329,000 to $499,000, so it could be a good place for you to get a starter home built anywhere between 1981 to 2005. And again, there are lots that come up for so if somebody could put in a brand new build, um, a little bit smaller homes, uh, 1,100 square foot all the way to 1,800. Now that doesn't mean there aren't any outside of those parameters, but right now what's for sale is in the 1,100 to 1,800 square foot range. And prices are going from about $205 a square foot all the way up to $326 a square foot. Nice thing about Verde Villages is that of course the no HOA is a big draw, but you're in the heart of Cottonwood. You're very close to the shopping, you're very close to the fries, the Walmart, and a lot of the stores. Lots of stuff to do. So that's it. Verde Villages 6 is the last home on my tour of neighborhoods in Cottonwood, Arizona. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate in Northern Arizona. Cottonwood is one of my preferred towns where I sell. If you have a question about real estate, feel free to go to the description below and get my contact information and give me a call, text, email. I will get back to you. You can also go to my website and schedule a Zoom call. I post videos like this every single week. So if you like to type of a contact please do me a favor give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing i post brand new videos every week so i hope to see you back here again next week